Yes, guys, as I'm sure many of you know, lots of racket companies are releasing new generations of their racket lines, the Wilson Blade being the most recent. Just before that, the Yonex V-Core Pro. Earlier this calendar year, the Head Radical. Babylon Pure Drive is new. And Dunlop CX, I believe, among many others. Begs the question, should you update your racket of choice just because it's an outgoing generation now being replaced by a new um, addition to the family? Newer is not always better, as we will see. I'm gonna take you through my specific situation with this Technifiber, a three-year-old model now replaced by the t Fight RS305. Maybe you can relate, get some food for thought, and come to a decision of your own. So let's go through my thought process and hit the course. All right, so assuming your racket is in ship shape, you baby it, graphite's there, not super scratched up, bumper guard, grommets are all relatively intact. The conversation is open for debate. Do you update? First thing you need to look at, I'm not saying anything earth shattering here. Specs, very telling of the playability of the racket. We all have reasons for why we choose our racket of choice. In the instance of this Tekken Fiber, I think it's a nice blend in a lot of ways. 98 square inch head, more forgiving than a 95, not as erratic as a 100. Beam width, 22 and a half millimeters. Not gonna be super low powered, but not gonna be a rocket launcher. 18-19 string pattern, the perfect blend of a 16-19, 18-20. And uh, the real kicker is the balance point. Kind of on an island, this racket, head, uh, three points headlight. Uh, most racks on the market around the four to six range, I'd say, the Pro Staff, all the way up to nine. A lot of weight in the handle, very whippy racket. So this one, much more weight in the hoop. And covers them on paper, but the, you know, swing through and follow through on stroke, the racket does the work for you. So the latter half of the stroke is a piece of cake and that's why I like that. But you, yeah, you, I mean, you gotta look at the specs in the new model compared to the outgoing one. They're not gonna make any drastic changes. Racket lines cater to a certain type of style of play. They're not gonna reinvent the wheel. They're gonna continue to cater to the, to the play that they have established already. Uh, but there will be subtle changes. In this instance, it's a half millimeter extra on the beam width on this new T-Fight. Um, so it's gonna add a little bit more power and stability, I guess, but uh, kind of negligible. Not enough right now for me to uh, take the plunge. Next thing you're gonna look at, technology. A lot of buzzwords out there, Sonicore, Infinergy, Woofer System, TechStream, to name a few. With the Tekken Fiber, it's uh, XTC, Extreme Touch Control. Um, it's the composition of the racket, basically. Every company has their own buzzword. You gotta, tough to, to see what's a gimmick, what's authentic. Um, the new technology with this T-Fight is the, in the name, RS. It's a five-sided R-shaped, different uh, mold uh, to the throat, adds stability and it's uh, you know, they inject some foam in there, so it adds dampening and comfort, I guess. Again, really nuanced, really subtle tweak. It's hard to tell if it's just a placebo effect, and I was mentally already looking for it, but I seem to be a little something there. A little bit, just a little. And um, again, just not enough of a, of a difference, of a game changer for me to take the plunge right now. So the last thing you're gonna look at, and you may roll your eyes, but I refuse to believe it's not a factor, it's the aesthetics. If a racket has um, a draw, an aura, a sex appeal, for lack of a better term, and you look you, you look like a million bucks with it in your hand, you feel amazing, it is gonna affect your style of play. And uh, your confidence. Look good, feel good, feel good, play good. So aesthetically, I love this white base. I think a lot, there's way too much blue and black out there. Splash of red, the blue in the hoop is awesome kind of losing me with these clunky black letters up here, but I can I can look past that. Really sweet um, kind of plaque in the throat there. Dynamite with that ATP logo and an awesome metallic butt cap again with that ATP logo. The new model, of course, has this. Just got my hands on this puppy. Again, the white base, absolutely gorgeous. Definitely a fan of that. Butt cap's a little different. Pretty cool though. It's got that same Technifiber black little spot on the side. Dash of red, dash of blue. 
going into the hoop is pretty sweet. Do you see the geometric technofibers there? Uh, key fight 305 on the top of the hoop. And of course the RS, supposedly this is the technology five sided with a little bit of geometric logos in there as well. And the grip, which I'm gonna throw an overgrip on, but nice touch on that. No other company does that, um, that I can think of. Correct me if I'm wrong. And Technofiber right there as well. Gorgeous looking racket. Absolute chef's kiss for this one. All right, so aesthetically, I do give my vote to the new model, the T5 RS by a smidge. It's probably not enough to tip the scales though and make me take that $230 plunge. If anything, I would have to sell this racket first and use those earnings to buy the new one. I thoroughly enjoy this racket, and but I do as well see myself playing it well and falling in love with the new generation as well. So I'm kind of stuck in the mud. My thought process hasn't led me to a decision yet. I think my game plan right now is see if I can sell this and again use his earnings to buy the new generation. That's really all I got. I'm curious to see if you can relate what your story is, there's a lot of blades out there. The V6 I heard was incredibly popular. Um, I'm sure some of you switched to the V7 and now there's a V8. That's just one racket. Again, all these lines are updating all the time. Just deploy for these companies to make more money. Sometimes it seems like. So let me know, uh, are you playing with the racket that's several generations old or do you find that newer is most of the time better and uh, update your racket of choice with the new release. Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe, that's really all I got. And remember that in Trashman Tennis, it's all about the tennis trash we've been.